Uh, you're sometimes thinking in the back of your mind, is it that team where you, you can go on to win a trophy? So to, to go through all that and to get beat a few times and it was meant to be and then to come to win this in such a dramatic fashion, uh, it was honestly TV, everyone got to see that. It hopefully it brings passion back to the game in England and everyone is happy about it, gets behind us and hopefully the kids watch it and want to play cricket again. How about you and your performance today? You are obviously the middle over monster, that's your uh, new nickname. Um, I'll take that. Yeah, well, <laughs> tell us, how did you feel at practice with those? <coughs> uh, I know that's good players, obviously it's... At the wicket I was trying to tell myself and speak to the boys on the pitch, I was like, oh, it's a good pitch, isn't it? It's a good pitch, isn't it? I know it was doing a little bit, you know, he's like, uh, I was speaking to Josh, good pitch? Yeah, good pitch, and I was trying to convince me and everyone else that it was actually a good pitch, but it was doing a little bit, it, it was. Uh, obviously, from when I first started, I was down the hill I don't love, and I felt rushed. <clears throat> Not my wicked balls, but I felt like I was creeping close to the line, and uh, you bowl when you have to bowl, and uphill into the wind, whatever, but I preferred the bottom end running into sort of the slope. I've always enjoyed that. I think it's when I first started, when you have Steve Harms and Joe Bakhtar's opening bowlers or first change, you're going to get the wind or in your face. But crazy, crazy game, isn't it? So uh, I, I felt good. Uh, I wasn't going to try and do anything different. I was going to hold my book cross seam, mix the seam up and try and hit my length. That's what Mark said to me first up. He said, we've not tried cross seam yet. Do what you do. And he often said to the game, you're the best in the world at that point. So to have your captain say that to you gives you a little bit of a spark and today I felt good and just to get Kane to get Kane out is a massive turning point. I played with Kane, I know how good he is, obviously I played for the tournament. So to get that wicket it felt like the momentum shifted a little bit. And what about for you personally? I mean it's less than a year ago you were in danger of giving up your place because you were getting married in a way. Yeah, yeah. I think, but I spoke to them, it was obviously something to do with the Sri Lankan uh, cricket board changed it. Me and Mark were in the same place, but as a captain he, he couldn't do as much as me. But uh, I did, but got back in the team, it wasn't easy. Uh, but Mark backed me, Trev backed me to come back in. and. and uh, yeah, it was obviously nice to come back in and play. It wasn't the best game in Sri Lanka after my uh, few days honeymoon, whatever, but uh, yeah, it, yeah, speechless. I keep thinking that I'm a World Cup winner, so it's uh, sorry if I'm not making too much sense. <laughs> no, you are, but, but for you as well, I mean, you've been around for a lot longer than anyone else. Yeah. So, in a way, does it mean more, I guess, because of having been through so much, all the different phases of your bowling, all the ups and downs yeah. of your career? It is surreal, eh? playing uh, the World Cup in the Caribbean in 2007, I think it was, and against Ross Taylor, and then playing against in the final against Ross Taylor again. It just goes by in a, in, in a flash. But, uh, I've never really won a massive uh, trophy. I know this is the, the biggest of the biggest for, for, for a cricketer doing the World Cup, but I won a trophy with Durham way back when and a few champos, but I never won like a T20 in front of a big crowd or an IPL. And as I said, it was meant to be today to win this in front of, in England, at Lords, the best ground in the world, in front of a, an amazing crowd and everyone got to see it on TV. Is, I would have given my right leg for it. And, and how were the nerves jangling, like, especially at the tie and then going into that super over? How, how were they and, and how important was what Owen said to you? Uh, up, up top, obviously, when we were batting and I was looking to bat, apparently Morg said that yeah. I'll settle these nerves. And I was thinking, actually, he settled my nerves, so it's, uh, oh, it's good just chatting crap like I normally do. I had a coffee, it was probably not the best thing. So, uh, <laughs> But I think the best thing about this team is you know the person behind you can do your job, but no one wants to leave it to them. So that's the best thing about the team. You know them guys out there can do it, and everyone else is backing them up to do it. Cheers, guys. Thanks.